It's your boy Kevin from New Orleans, Louisiana, and you're watching the Almost Daily Vlog with Mr. Fomer Simpson and Young Buckets because anything else would be uncivilized. We don't have too much to talk about before the sneakers. The one thing that I did want to touch on though, we get a lot of social media questions, naturally, being that we are on social media. It's kind of, you know, what we do. You know, Buckets is kind of the mysterious social media guy flying under the radar in the shadows out of sight. Some of you follow him on some of his socials, but we are creating him a Snups account. You've heard me talk about Snups before. It's an app that personally I like. You like it as well. Yeah. And this is the anti-hype beast. So if he likes it, you know, there's apps that, you know, we've played around with and thought about starting an account or started an account and Buckets puts the kibosh on it. Buckets says, no, you know what? This is whack. Don't want any parts of it. But you approve Snups. Yeah, I like Snups. Buckets approves this message. It's dope. We've talked about it before. We've talked about it before. It's dope because you can organize things in shelves and so it's very organized. Yeah. Completely spick and span. Clean. Super clean. Mr. Clean approved. Yeah. I, I personally think that that's dope. You're looking at who to follow and what you want your feed to be. You can immediately see what somebody's into. Bam. Okay, here's maybe a food shelf. Here's a pet shelf where they show dog, their dogs. Here's the, And if that's something you're into, boom, you can follow. If it's not something you're into, and eh, not so much. And I think it's cool too because it encourages me to not just post sneakers that I just bought that day or yeah. new release stuff. You know, I've done most worn sneakers. I've done on court sneakers. I've done views from the blank where when Buckets and I travel, we take cool pictures and post them up there. So anyways, Buckets is coming to the Snups family. We will put that link in the description. You can check him out. You can give him a follow if you already have Snups. If not, you can download it and follow him. Check it out. Give him a follow. Give me a follow also. But if not, and don't steal my followers. Yeah, man. This is my time. <laughs> this is your time. This is my time to shine. Okay. Forget about me then. Just Buckets. No. Sir Buckets. Esquire. Please say the Esquire. That's it. So now it is sneaker time. So I grabbed another pair of Yeezys. I just could not resist. So who knows what these are? Everyone should know what they are because it doesn't have the 350 box. So what could it be? Before I break these out, shouts to the good people over at Kicks R for us. They always look out, always do good business, man. Nothing but good things to say about them. I will put all their information in the description. You can check them out if you feel so inclined. Um, good people over there, though. Anything else to say before breaking them out? Nope. Drum roll, por favor. Bang, bang, the Adidas Yeezy Power Phase Calabasas. Okay, so now this sneaker, we've talked about Yeezy resale being dead. Yeah. And people are, no, it's not. It's but Listen, I, I know they still sell for double retail in a lot of cases, but the point is you're missing the context when you just look at that. When stuff was reselling for $2,000, $1,500, $1,000, and now you're barely cracking double retail, that is a huge drop off, a huge drop off. This sneaker dropped off harder than any sneaker. It's an Adidas power face and they literally wrote Calabasas on the side and people went crazy. Yeah. Like when these first released, they were going for over a thousand dollars. Now they're going for retail. Yep. You know what I mean? Like you can get these for 150 bucks anywhere almost. They're so cheap. And all that they did was release more of them. What are you, are you talking to someone on the phone? You, you know what? I like to talk on this side. This is my receiver. Yeah, you, know, you talk there. See, I go right into the thing. Uh, maybe I'm a rookie. Yeah, yeah, this is the way. Jay Z, proper form. You hold money to your ear. We don't hold oh, that money over there's, here. There's a disconnect here. There is. Hold sneakers to your ear. We don't, we don't call that. We don't call that heat over here. No, maybe. Remix? Remix. Sometimes on, on a low top sneaker, you really need a shoe tree. Well, this thing looks like a hot dog right now. Look at this. There we go. Much better. So you've got the drunk one now, and I've got the nice one. Go home, Adidas. You're drunk. You're drunk. Call an Uber or Lyft. All right. Have you ever used Lyft? No. Me no. neither. I use Uber all the time. You're the Uber guy. There you go. So let's talk about the sneaker really quick. Number one, okay, they're super, super cheap. I mean, this is by far the cheapest Yeezy of all time ever created. Yeah. I and mean, when you look at the most expensive Yeezy, you're looking at like 
probably one of his Nike joints that yeah. is probably going to be four or five thousand bucks, something like that. And this is the cheapest in the hundreds. What other Yeezy has ever sniffed one hundred and fifty bucks? Never. Not in this lifetime. Not in this lifetime. Other than these. So now we'll see what the future holds, but. So far, this is the cheapest Yeezy. Not only the cheapest Yeezy I've ever bought, it's the cheapest Yeezy ever. Now, I would have never paid basically over retail for this shoe personally. Yeah. I will say one thing. Let us talk about the quality of this sneaker. It's very good. It's crazy because it's a lot better quality than a lot of the more expensive stuff. Now, I think they do a pretty good job with the quality on the 350s and stuff like that. It's a different kind of material. Yeah, it's not it's leather. Not leather, you know? This quality is bananas. Mm -hmm. This is like a baby polar bear on a glacier ice slide into a arctic. hot arctic spring oh okay yeah. boiling springs yeah boiling springs there you go like you got the glacier it's just sprouting out from the earth's core okay bam tectonic plates 80 85 degrees fahrenheit and he's just going belly first yep exactly nice yep so seriously, all jokes aside, these are really, really, really soft, really good. To me, this shoe is the example of what hype can do. Now, a lot of people probably haven't heard this story, but um, our pops read it to us, everyone in the family at least once, and that is the Emperor's New Clothes, right? The Emperor's New Clothes was about a king, or an emperor, I guess, who was convinced that he was super saucy in his invisible, spiffy, new gear and really he was just walking around butt ass naked and so he got duped he got he got swindled he got finessed got, bam the, got bamboozled he got bamboozled at the highest level and it just illustrates what hype can do and what perceived value and just all that stuff and that's what these are they literally took uh, a silhouette and a model now it's a it's a very nice model it's the pablo escobar exactly it, it, it's a very nice model. It's very classic, but it's a little bit old manish. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit like '80s workout lady. I don't see that. It was like a leotard, like going up and down. Do you remember that? I, I do. That's not at all what I think about. Maybe that were the leotard chicks wearing these in the '80s. I, I don't know. What I think of when I see these is like maybe the 40-year-old dude who's still pretty cool, but he has like a hard crease in his jeans. And uh, okay. you know what I mean? Like that that kind of guy. A man stuck in his times. <laughs> you know, uh, an authentic man. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but no, but I, I like stuff like that. And you know that. Yeah. Like, like Reebok classics, I still rock them. Yeah. You know, I, I used to wear them back in the day because they were cheap and they were clean and they were, you know, before I could afford Nike Air Force Ones, I was rocking the Reebok classics. So I do appreciate this model and this silhouette and models like it but let's be honest here if this didn't say calabasas on the side who would want these not many not many people at all now i love the price point on them yeah the calabasas on the side is is a nice touch but it just it goes back to the same exact thing that we've been talking about and we keep talking about it because it keeps doing the same thing and we get so many questions both buckets and i would get so many questions almost daily i would say about yeezys how do i cop yeezys where do you get them from you know where can i find them for cheaper how much did you pay for yours you know what do they cost do you use bots you know it just is are the prices going to go up or the price is going to go down it's the same thing over and over and over again. I don't know. It is what it is, man. There's really not much to say about this sneaker. It's a pretty old school, vintage type of model. And they really did it justice with some super primo leather. I think it's a great sneaker for the summertime. Oh, for sure. I mean, you throw this on in the summertime with anything and, and you're good to go. And they're very, very comfy. This is that cocaina right here. That Pablo Escobar. Mm -hmm. That Narcos. The white on white on white. I don't have anything else to say about these. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about the sneaker. Wait, before we go, the anti-hype beast. How do you feel about this show? I, I actually like them. You actually like them. But would you pay over retail? Or would you pay $1,000 for them? No way. Retail. I, mean, I wouldn't pay $1,000 for any show. That's true. On earth. Maybe we play one-on-one -on -one to see who gets them. Aha. 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 Uh -huh. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you feel about these. Let us know how you feel about 
Yeezys in general. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. We will be right back here tomorrow. The almost daily vlog. That's how we do things. Buckets, foamy, we're out of here. It is, I feel like we need a, 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 a theme song. Like a 90s sitcom. You know? It's sneaker time and it's sneaker time. Guy's washing his car. Washing his car. In. Turns around. Yeah. Hey, how are ya? <laughs> what, what else could we do? Painting a fence? Like raking leaves. They're always doing like yeah, really like non sequitur chores. Yeah, that's what you got to do, man. Like bagging groceries, and they're like, "Hey, how are you?" Watch it. They got their shirt tucked into their jeans. Oh, of course, because that's what you got. I mean, that's straight baller stuff.